Yo, welcome back guys. So, as you guys know, I'm from one some previous video ago that I got a icon front lip and I got a paint match professionally. So it was like pretty expensive because it was professionally done and if I break that lip, I'm gonna be upset because that lip was really good in the car. I'm gonna keep it try to keep it just for shows, like competition shows. And so it'll be like the perfect lip. But I also don't want to run my car lipless because I'm driving around. That's why I mostly see the car and it looks horrible. Plain, etc. I don't like looking at it. So or another lip. This lip is exactly the same lip I have for the uh, the good one. The reason why I ordered it is because I can learn how to drive it and I won't mess it up when I'm driving. Exactly the same, completely brand new. Oop. What's the end of the video? But as I was saying though, the reason why I got this lip is so I can learn how to drive it. And this one won't be professionally done, it'll be all done by me. I'm gonna paint it, put it on the car, and yeah, just drive it and daily it. So if it breaks, it breaks. I've been trying to adjust my suspensions to get a higher lift. So I can avoid all that issue, but you never know. Things happen, so. Alright, let's go ahead and break into this. Exactly the same as my previous one. Since this one's already true, I'm just gonna mark the holes and then drill new holes before I paint it. My plan to attack it is by putting it over the corners, like lining the best part with that part and then putting some touch-up paint in that hole and hope for the best. That's my plan of attack. So I just did this one, so boom. White dot, it's trying to kind of drill where it is and do it for the rest. A lot more difficult than I thought. I the super vague holes now. It's time to start drilling. This is a spare lip anyways, so it doesn't have to be perfect anyways, so let's get started. <clears throat> this is how it turned out. Pretty identical. Like I said, this is going to be a spare lip anyways, so if it's not perfect, oh yeah, well, it's a spare lip. Probably going to break anyways. I didn't punch that hole because I don't... I don't even know why I even did that whole so yeah. Now it's time for paint. Welcome to another bright and sunny day here in the south. <clears throat> it's a little cloudy. Another day tackling the DIY lip paint job on my spare lip. So it's been a few days. I've been working on a lot of other stuff, trying to work to get some extra money as well. And I haven't had the time nor the weather paint this lip. I now I have the time, not not necessarily the weather, it's blue skies there, but dark skies there. So we're gonna try to tackle this. So since this is poly, I don't have to really prep anything except for wiping everything down with the alcohol. And then we're gonna go straight into primer. The primer of choice would be the seam primer flexible primer. I heard this is the best for lips. And it says to do two coats but I might do three because I will be sanding it down at the very end. About five to ten minutes between coats. Might do probably like 10, 15 just in case anything happens. And allow the final coat to dry for 30 to 40 minutes, which I will probably let sit for 40 to an hour minutes before I wet sand. My goal for today is just to make sure that I can get the primer on and sanded. If I have time, I'll hit with color, but I don't think I will. So let's just see. Should I just primer then? So with that being said, let's go ahead and tackle the alcohol. Alright, with everything wiped down, let's go ahead and shake that primer and put that first coat on. We're going to do a kind of light coat for the first one, to a medium, then a heavy. So this is a very light first coat. It was a little windy, so the wind was blowing it a little bit. So. That's just one extremely light coat. Wait about 15 minutes and I'll come back and hit it again. All right, 15 minutes has passed. Let's go for coat number two. The second coat wasn't too amazing. It kept shooting like chunks out. I don't know if it's the humidity, but I kept it, keep the bottle inside. So either way, I'll be saying it down anyways for any imperfection at the very last. So 
here's the final coat, the third coat. If things go bad, I might end up doing another fourth coat. We'll see. So let's take out this third coat. As usual, it's not turned out as best as I want it to. It's, I guess it's like not as coated as I thought. Maybe I should use some adhesive promoter or maybe it's just too windy. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna wet sand it with 600 grit and see how the paint looks and maybe I might do another coat of primer another day if it's that bad. Painting is something I really, really, really want to get like really good at because I've been trying to paint for a while, but it's never turning good like my spoiler right there. It's not that good, but I'm trying to get there. So just bear with me. If you have any tips and stuff, I'd be love to hear in the comments down below. So any advice, let me know. So this is how it looks right now. Yeah, there's a lot of bald spots, which I told my brother to get his opinion on, and he said it's fine, so we'll see. For my base coat, I'll be using the Rust-Oleum Gloss Protective Enamel. Again, this is my spare lip, so just a lip. So it just looks like, I hate seeing my car lipless, so this is just really just a car to, or a lip to just break and just drive around. And look at, nice for daily driving, because I do have a show lip, it's already professionally painted, so. For me to practice on, so this is my canvas. Alright, let's do the first base coat. This first coat kind of make it try light. I just sprayed my ground with water to avoid any overspray. It's looking pretty cool. All that spray is just absorbing all the overspray. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna get about 15 minutes to dry. I'm gonna hit my second coat. Another bright sunny day here in the south. And this is how it looks. Let it cure for overnight. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet sand it and then hit it with some 2K clear. Makes it all super shiny and protects it. So let's go ahead and let's wet sand this with a thousand grit. So this is after wet sanding everything, got rid of most of the imperfections and spray it down with water. So let it dry a little bit, wipe it down one more time, and at that, I'm gonna start the clear coat process. As always, my 2K clear coat is 2K clear by Maxi. This stuff is amazing, but it's pretty expensive, it's like $20 a can, and it only lasts 48 hours, so hope I can use this entire can on that lip since I don't need anything else for it, so I must have extra protection, right? So after a few days, this is how it looks. Still not as shiny as I want it to be, but it is a spare lip, so I guess on the, the sun, it works really bright, so let's see if I can lower it so you can see it better. Talk to under the sun. It's okay, not the best job, but it's a spare lip, it's okay. So I'm gonna wet sand it down, about 1500 grit, and then I'm gonna polish it. Back inside because nothing beats the comfort of your home and AC. So I'm gonna go ahead and polish this, probably like a one pass, two pass polish, and then slap on the car. I'm going to be using the Meguiar's compound and then finishing it off with the Meguiar's polish. I want to protect it or wax it, but you're not supposed to until like a month or two after you paint it. So I gotta wait until I shimmer coat it. Alright, with the bumper inside, it's time to test fit the lip. As you guys may know, I'm pretty stupid. So I did actually test fit it, like bolted everything on to this bumper. So this is the first time for everybody, I guess. Right off the bat, I know these won't fit, but some of the middles do fit. Not, not a lot of them, so like all of this does not fit. But at least these are lining up, so we're gonna keep testing and see how it runs. Got most of the holes re-drilled, which wasn't that bad. It was like that much, like off that little bit, so not terrible, like that one right there. Just gonna add all the bolts back on and tighten everything and see how it fits. All right, but it wasn't that bad. I kind of wish I added some washers to some of them, like this one. That's like way in there. I don't know how I'm gonna move that out, but I'll bring it out when I remove it. But, it seems pretty sturdy. The paint match on them, not bad in my opinion. You can't really tell it's the daylight, so I gotta get some daylight clips and it's already dark outside by then, so. But, just slap it on the car and see how it looks. Well, it's on, and I don't know if you can tell the paint match is not too off. I just wish it was glossier, but that's how it looks. Worried for this ride height a little bit, but we'll play it out. It's pretty sturdy. 
except for this part's a little bit loose right here like right here a lot of, a lot of play but i think we can get around that everything else is like this in the middle especially the middle is really stiff and not bad and you know i can't leave you guys hanging without an air out so let's just let's see this thing one last time air it out As always, it looks sick. So, I said for this clip, next clip I'm gonna try to record during daytime and see how good this paint match, paint match, rattle can job looks really. So I was too lazy to pull up my camera, but this is how it ended up looking. I did end up using bigger washers, but overall, the paint quality is pretty nice. Not bad for a rattle can job at all, in my opinion. Pretty happy with it, ain't gonna lie. If you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. Sorry that I haven't uploaded a lot. This is obviously days after since I haven't recorded the last clip, but that's how it looks. All right. Hope y'all enjoy it just as much as me. And that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.